AA, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, put the hand up. I do it right away because I have the tendency to forget and I won't return. And give me a something you think I should talk about. Here's something that seems to be at the plenty of and for some reason it's okay. Um, way back, I would tell my friends, oh, you got a bad grape in your group. <laughs> and they wouldn't listen. Someone I dated got married and I had been telling her that her best friend was a piece of garbage. I didn't use those words, but technically that's what, what I meant. And then it got proven. She divorced her husband, threw him to, kicked him to the curve. He got nothing. And she made him pay for everything because he's the cheater. And she won this time. But then the children forgave the dad and wanted to live with the dad and were backstabbing pieces of garbage. She moved away. I miss her. And everybody always says this. You can't blame her. Yes, you can. She's a whore. I'm sorry. A scuzzbucking whore who goes after other women's, and they always say, I didn't know. Yes, she knew. In her case, she knew it was her best friend. Or at least she called her her best friend. She wasn't her best friend. She was a backstabbing whore. I see that all the time. Or the weak men who run and tell their wives every little secret that they hear. Well, we're married. That happened. I used to hang out with a group of people. And there was this guy. All the information that he would tell us would always end up. And the wife would be. Meh, 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 meh. So one day I decided to test the waters. It was two people. I was sure out of. One of them was the one that was the snitch. And I released two stories. I gave one story to one and another story to another. And whichever story popped up, I would know who would be the snitch. And the story popped up. And I turned to the uh, person and I told my friend, I'm going to be sitting at this table over here. And it was a smaller table. And I went over to that guy and I told him, if you come over and sit at my table, I'm going to punch you so hard in the face that you're going to lose your teeth. And he said, why? I said, because I told you in confidence a story and you ran and told your wife. I said, the story didn't really matter. I just wanted to know who was the person that was snitching. We had a private conversation and you kept repeating and getting these people in trouble. Like they had bought this wonderful gift for their wife and the wife knew what they were getting. <laughs> All the time. And I was, I finally got tired. I knew who it was, sure who it was, but... There were two of you that seemed that way. And it wasn't the other person. It was just you. So you stay at that table that's bigger. And I'll sit at this small table. And people are okay with that way of acting and thinking. I just don't get it. There was this girl that was a that is a whore. I don't know if she's dead. 
And she went and slept with a married man. And she told everybody at work. And everybody was like, lee, lee, lee. and I go sit in my far corner like I always did. And somebody told me something and I told them, look, I don't want to be part of those conversations. I don't want to be part of the bad juju. I said, karma's a bitch and it's sooner or later going to come and bite her. And they said, well, it's not her fault. I said, it's 100% her fault. And it's 100% his fault. She knows he's married and she's destroying a family of five. They have three kids. And it's horrible that you all don't have a problem with that. You are blaming the man, but it's her who's going after these people. And that's the thing. People like her don't care. All they care about is the outcome that they get what they want. Well, I'm not interested in being that part of that circle. If you don't get that, I don't understand why. That's just horrible what she's doing. And people don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Why don't you understand going after someone else's significant other? I had this friend. He had a brother. Okay. His brother cheated with his girlfriend. And I went and I told them, your brother's sleeping with your girlfriend. Oh, no, he never do that. I said, okay, go home. He went home and he found his girlfriend in bed with his brother. And blew up. And the brother came over and thought he was going to scare me. And instead, I put my knee in his crotch and he bent over fell to the ground and I kicked him quite a few times, letting him know it wasn't acceptable to threaten me for the dirty he did. This is your brother. Now, when he ended up getting killed, that was still on him. And I didn't throw anything up like people keep you know, usually do. I just stayed away. And a, a friend told me what happened. And I said, oh, okay. And that's all I said. I didn't throw any stones. I didn't say, oh, he got what he deserved or anything like that. Because that's not my business. The thing is, is that I wasn't his friend. So I'm not going to be there when he died or anything like that. But the point is, is that I didn't feel sorry for him. He kept making his bed, so now he's going to lie in it forever. And that was my point. And I see lots of women doing that too, sleeping with everything, and then they blame the man. No, you're the whore. He's one too. And that was always my remark to who I was dating. I would say, if you're going to cheat on me, Break up with me because I don't want your diseases. Because if you don't, you better start running. Because you won't be running after I'm finished with you. Playing Russian roulette with my life. Because that's my life. You want to play Russian roulette with your life? You do that, but then get the hell away from me. It's as simple as that. But what do you think? Do you think it's okay? Because the TV shows and movies all show that it's okay. And then their children say it's okay. I'm sorry, but if my father had cheated on my mom and they were married for years, I would not side with him because he's a cheating piece of garbage. He hurt my mom. 
Now, if she was the cheating person, then I wouldn't side with her either. I would be on his side because she's the cheating piece of garbage. Because we usually side with the woman. Men do. Even though they're cheating. And women side with the man, even though they're cheating. Movie after movie after movie show that. And I don't understand that. You hurt my mom. It's over between us. I'm not going to be siding with you or want to see you again. It's that simple. That's who I am. But what do you think? Is that okay with you? Let me know by subscribing to my channel. Leave me a little message letting me know what your opinion is. And put the hand up to let me know you're there. And give me a topic you think I should talk about. But remember, AA, see you in church.